to conclude our discussion of information theory we'll also discuss something called as the kullback liber di divergence it is also famously called as kl divergence and you must have heard this term in our previous lectures so it is useful to realize that mutual information it's also a particular case of kl divergence so kl divergence actually measures the difference between any two distributions it is used as a distance measure for this particular lesson it is sufficient to understand how kl divergence is used uh, to measure the distance between two distributions the kl divergence is given by this particular formula and it is always non negative and zero only when p is equal to q when p is equal to q the log of 1 is 0 and that's why the distance is 0 otherwise it is always some non negative quantity so it serves as a distance measure but it is not completely a distance measure because it doesn't follow the triangle law but then you should ask yourself why you need to know uh, kl divergence or where it is used usually in usually in supervised learning we are always trying to model our data to a particular distribution so in that case uh, our one of our distributions can be a well known distribution and we can denote that as p of uh, x and then we can sample our data set to find out q of x uh, while doing that we can use kl divergence as a substitute to the least square formula that we used for fitting uh, so it's just a different way of uh, trying to fit your data to your existing model and we'll come back to kl divergence in some of our problem sets